Hey guys, Digital David here. Today we're going to be using TubeBuddy to go over its tag tools and SEO optimization for your YouTube videos. I really appreciate each and every one of you being here today for this video. So we're going to look at one of my videos that I just published not too long ago on YouTube and go through all of its tags and what that means and what sort of features you can use within TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a little extension that integrates right to your YouTube page. So you can see all these little icons up here and then it's right here as well with its tools that works directly with YouTube, offers you best practices, that sort of thing. So we're gonna be living right here in the tags. So you can see my tags right here and you see these little green numbers and boxes next to individual tags. That's showing you where your tag ranks in the search result. So if you appear within the top 20, you will have a little green box and a number showing you for that specific tag where your video places. So I have a lot of green tags in this video, which is really awesome. It's hard to get them. Um, but you really got to make them specific for your product for them to show up. So again, you can try to spam some of the most common tags, but it's really hard to show up in results because there's so many videos with those tags. So you want to take your specific product or whatever your video content is and make it as applicable as possible to that content. So you can see Schiff and May's the brand here. I got number two on that. Schiff and May watch because that's what we're reviewing. Um, it's only got 15 views right now, but my channel is very SEO heavy. So those 15 views are people that are actually searching for this product, which is cool. Um, and then it just shows you too, I have all those green tags and it's hard to get views. So you really want to make sure you have those green tags and have content that people are watching. If you don't, you can have all the green tags in the world, but if people aren't searching for that content, they're never going to find it. But it is categorized in Google the right way, which is really helpful. So here's all the tag tools you have to use at your disposal. You have a copy tool. So do I want to copy all the tags or some of the tags? And where do I want it? To a clipboard or do I want to make a new tag list that I can reference later on for other videos? Do I want to clear the tags? Do I want to sort the tags? So you can remove duplicates too in there, which is nice. I didn't even know I had a duplicate. So I'm going to remove that. And then you can drag and drop these if you want. Okay. You can do that. Or you can auto sort by rank. I'm going to auto sort by rank because that's a great feature to have. And now you can see all my number ones together, threes, and then all my more generic tags down here. Apply and close. And then look. Bam. Done right there. Here's some suggested tag tabs for you to use. So it's running an analysis saying, hey, you might want to use this one. And then if you want to use it, add it. It's already inserted. It's that simple. So you can just click right down this list if you have enough characteristics left for your tags. Then it's just showing um, tags related to my channel. Sometimes it gets a little wonky. I have nothing tagged with British. Britain's got talent, but I guess I've had well, I don't know. I don't understand why that one's there. Usually it's based off of what tags you have and what views you get. So I don't know why these ones are showing up. It's kind of silly, but I guess two videos with similar rankings used those tags. So it's recommended them, recommending them to me, but everything else is tags I've used on my channel. So we can close out of that. We can go to explore. So, Hey, I'm thinking of a tag, you know, men's watch. Let's see the results. So it's going to show you an overall score and then an analysis of that score and why. So it's saying it's poor because there's just, on a nutshell from the analysis, there's a lot of search volume, which is great, but the competition is too high. So there's just too many people to compete for that tag to be relevant. You'll just get lost in the back. But the optimization strength is strong. It's saying um, all the videos that have that tag that are at the top are very well optimized, so it's going to be hard to break in. But I still think if you want to include that tag, you should because there's just so much search volume, you'll get reviews for that tag as opposed to maybe the Schiff and May watch because you might only have 5, 10, 15, 20 people buying that product each day. But you're going to have millions of people, 80 million people searching for men's watch. But again, it's got an unweighted and a weighted performance. The weighted performance is based off of your channel. The unweighted is just in general how that keyword does. So here's video search tags you could do and use if you want. So if you like this one, you can click it So and select it. And then you can insert them right here if you want. You can see what sort of web searches are popular related to that. If you want to insert those into your video and then what video topics are popular as well. And then here's the most used tags, all none video tag limit. So really helpful. This tab is really great for seeing results and exploring. Here's the results too. It's showing you if you search that tag, 
what's showing up. So it's really nice and really cool. Here's the trending, here's historical data on the tag, and then here's the map showing you, you know, where's the interest coming from. So guys, really an awesome tool and you'd be really happy. I use this tool, it's worth the money alone just for this information. You can translate and you can import from a list as well too. So those are kind of a brief snapshot of the tag tool and the features it offers. You can do it all within YouTube and it's really easy, straightforward. If you wanna find out more information, there's a link to TubeBuddy in my video description below. It'll take you right there and you can see the different plans and the options that are included with those. Leave me any questions, comments, concerns, give me feedback what you wanna see in this video. I love working with you guys and to have you here. So thank you and I will see you in my next video.